How are we doing guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a one hour grind session in Star's End. On the Awakened Sage where I finally hit my 10,000 trash per hour goal on the yellow loot scroll, the advanced loot scroll. And it's not my maximum. My, ax my maximum is actually 10.3k trash here. And that was grinding the rotation on cooldown. A lot of the times when I was getting into a pack, they were just starting to spawn. And a couple of times I had to wait a second for them to spawn. So um, I might be able to get more than 10.3, but that's not something I'm going for because that would involve me going further into gate rotation to take more packs from the uh, adjacent rotation. And with how crowded Star's End is, it's pretty hard to do that consistently without causing more trouble than it's worth for an extra 100 or 200 trash. So I'm happy with where I am. And honestly, um, you, I have to be, well, you have to be really concentrating on all the little nuances to be able to get this kind of trash per hour, which I'm not usually always doing. I'm only doing it when I'm trying to reach goals and make videos like you see in this one. Um, and that being said, if you want to know all the little nuances and skill rotations and all the other little bits and bobs that go into me pulling numbers like this, I would recommend checking out the video in the description down below. It's the best grind spot episode one video that I got. And in there, I, I go through everything you need to know. But do keep one thing in mind. There's one small difference between this video, what you see here, and that guide video that I have. The difference being is I got a PVE set of gear now for my Sage for when I'm grinding. And that PVE set of gear consists of using my Tet boss gear from previous seasons, so my Tet Griffin and Tet Red Nose, equipping those instead of my pen gear that I got for PvP. And in there, I've put four Macaloids for an extra 10 AP and some extra other little stats, which is nice, but it doesn't increase clear speed. The 10 AP is what increases clear speed. And on top of that, I did make a Tet Black Star a little while ago. Um, obviously, this was to go for pen with the hammers, which did fail. Um, and I've just, I've just kept it because my next real upgrade is going to be pen accessories slash pen black star. Um, I'm probably going to go for the pen black star next. So I'll be keeping my tet black star until basically I can afford to buy a pen black star from the CM. And that's when I'm going to sell it. But not only have I got a tet black star, I also put the very cheap power crystals in there for an extra, ply, extra 5 AP in each crystal slot. So that's an extra 10 AP from the crystals in the black star an extra 10 AP from the crystals in my armor and the extra monster damage that um, you, I get from the Black Star itself, which is pretty big. It does all add up. Um, the difference it basically makes is um, it allows me to clear a little bit faster. I don't have to wait too long for uh, the mobs to group up. And when that does happen, because I can clear a little bit faster and I don't get leftover mobs, I can just save a few seconds every, every other pack or every pack or every now and again where with my previous gear, like if I was to do that, there might be one or two mobs left over and then I've got to use an extra one or two skills to kill them. And that does add up to a few hundred trash over a one hour period. So <clears throat> do check out that video that um, I've suggested if you want more information on it. But uh, just again, keep in mind, there is a small change between my gear there and my gear in this video. Um, I've had a few DMs for people asking for episode 2. I have uh, taken a while. I think it's been ooh, coming up to two weeks. So I do apologize that episode 2 isn't out yet. Um, I will get it out before Christmas. I will try my best to get it out before Christmas. I do have to do a lot of extra recording and uh, it does take time to make those. But I will try and get that one out before Christmas. I'll try and get episode 3 out around New Year, hopefully before and then there's going to be an episode four and an episode five. Episode five will be the last one. So I'll do my best to get those to you guys um, as soon as possible. I, po I apologize it's taken so long. Uh, but that being said, I hope you enjoy this video here. I hope you learn something from it. And I do hope after the reworks, more classes can do this because that would be freaking awesome. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video.